Because the Lord said that APC should not rejoice yet. That is a game changer. But after six months, something unusual will happen. Because I'm seeing a new president after six months. I saw arrest. I saw arrest. In the course of the arrest, I saw one of the candidates running and not coming back. But first and foremost, I don't want you people to rejoice on obedient first. I want you people to pray. Hello, beloved. Welcome back to Patreon My Channel. I brought you an interesting video from Prophetess Rose Ebe. And this is what the woman of God has to say concerning what is going to happen May 29th. And he urged APC not to rejoice yet because something is going to happen. So, guys, I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear what the woman of God has to say. And please, if you have not subscribed to Patreon My Channel, kindly pause this video, subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Thank you very much. Here's the video. Because the Lord said that APC should not rejoice yet. That is a game changer. But after six months, something unusual will happen. Because I'm seeing a new president after six months. I saw arrest. I saw arrest. In the course of the arrest, I saw one of the candidates running and not coming back. But first and foremost, I don't want you people to rejoice on obedient first. I want you people to pray on his health so that you will not have health challenge. Precisely, cancer. You should pray for him so that it will not reinforce. Then secondly, I want you people to pray. I saw danger in Lagos. I saw attacks in Lagos. On the May 29, pray so that there will be no second answers. I want you to pray for the Nigerian police, for the Nigerian army, because I see them being attacked first by the civilians. The civilians will start attacking them, saying that they are the one that made the swearing in to come to pass. But I am not still seeing the APC president elect in that seat. At the same time, in this moment, I am still not seeing obedient in that seat. Let me tell you why I say so. I see APC fighting, I see Labour Party fighting. And I saw the two of them not sitting, and they brought somebody neutral to sit there before the judgment would take place. And I see court delivering judgment, and I see them declaring obedience as the winner. Because if the court refuses to deliver judgment, there is going to be riots. I saw arrest. I saw handcuff in the hand of the president elect. And I want you people to pray seriously. Because I saw handcuff also in our governors that are stepping down, five of them, three from the east, two from the north, being charged to EFCC custody. I think early last year, by May, I told you people about Ikori Madu, and this is what God is telling me, that the Lord said it's going to end in early April last year, that it's going to end in a custody. The Lord said he's going to expose the young man, re age that put Ikwere Madu in that issue because it is our politician that paid this young man to set him up. And I called them then. I said, if only I will meet and talk to Ikwere Madu and also meet with anybody that knows him or his lawyer, that there will be a solution that he will not end in prison. But because... Some people respect other big men of God prophecy that has big church, that have big house. I don't prophesy when God has not said. But I want to tell you people something. If only his lawyer will still humble himself and look for me, there will be a solution. Equality will come out before the time they gave him. Because what I saw is that I saw the government collecting 40 of his asset properties. I saw them collecting his asset. Then too, 
what I am seeing in the realm of the spirit in River State will not be good. <laughs> River State is going to be bloody. I told the people that Alaba International is going to burn fire, that they will pay somebody 1.5 to do it, and a lot of property will be lost. They refused to listen to me, and it came to pass. Maybe if they might have listened to me, maybe the assignment they would have done would not be even up to that. I always tell you people, my counseling is free. I don't charge for counseling. If I want to charge for counseling, I might have made bastard money because I only say what God tell me. Why am I saying this? I want you people to pray because I see our president stepping down. I see him leaving the country, running for his own life. I saw INEC chairman in custody for rigging election because this will be the last election that Nigeria will rig. At the same time, I saw Lagosians fighting the Igbos, burning the Igbo assets, and I see the Igbos relating back and retaliating back by fighting for their right. Now I want to come to the Lagosians as per what the Lord told me. The Lord told me, you cannot kill all the Igbos in Lagos. And without the Igbos, the Lord said, Lagos State wouldn't have been developed. Because the Lord said, you people sold your birthright in 1993 to the Igbos. And you can't take it back. And the Lord said, in the next five years, Lagos will become no, no man's land. Abuja also will become no man's land, these two states. So if you are claiming that you are from that state, in the next five years, it's turning around. Now, I want you people to pray. Because this May 29 is going to be an unusual day. But in the riot, in the fighting, in the killing, I see other states fighting, riot, killing. But I'm not saying it's coming to pass. Now, I want us to pray for Kaduna State because I see second crisis coming. Second fight coming. Because the killing of Zangon Katav and other local government of Kaduna South is going to increase and the Kaduna South people will come out and it will later turn to become a religion fight. I want you people to pray very well. Because for the family, especially for Pet Edoche, I want you people to pray for the Kubana's family. I want you people to pray for the for, for for Ukwa himself. I see health challenge. I see death. Another death in the Edoche family. I'm not calling name so that the person will not start getting afraid. But the Lord said, I will visit them with their iniquities and let them know that I am God. And in Ezekiel 21, 27, he said, I will overturn and overturn and overturn. And it shall be no more to whom the set time is given unto. I, the Lord, will give to him. In the Nollywood industry, I see two Nigerian celebrity female going down. I saw two male going down within this period from May to December. There's going to be an obituary. And I want you people to pray for Tonto DK because I am not seeing her alive. The enemy will laugh at her because the enemy have planned evil for her. The enemy have planned evil for her. And the Lord said, all because she wants to maintain her beauty, she will end in the grave. Now let her go back to God with the covenant he has with her. And the Lord told me that if no pastor have told her, that I should tell her. She has a calling as an evangelist. And she left the calling and she was busy doing what God have not said. Now, that is what I am seeing. I want you people to pray for Kogi State. Because the Lord said, whether they like it or not, Dino must sit in that seat. But the APC will rig the election. And it will not be of their favor. And the Lord said in Kogi State, APC is going to have serious crisis that will expose their hidden agenda. 
And I see Yaya Bello, I see EFCC proving him. I see Yaya Bello, I see EFCC proving him. And I see more secrets coming out. And the Lord said we should, I should tell the president-elect, if only he would step down and bear the defeat, that he will leave him with grace. That the wife too know, but she refused to talk because she wants to obey the husband. I see God withdrawing grace from the president-elect. Grace in the aspect of he will be clearing grass, clearing grass, and the grass will not finish. The grass is the problem and the trouble coming for him. I am not against him. I am not after him. But the, this is what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying that this seat is not for him. This seat is not for him. If care is not taken, what I am saying coming to Nigeria is doom. But the Lord said, 2024 to 2026, Nigeria will be a great nation. And the Lord said we should pray for the churches because I see churches being attacked. I see men of God being attacked. I see men of God being harassed. I see them being taken to prison because of they give they gave out prophecies and the prophecies that they gave is against the other opposition party. The Lord said be careful of the path store you fight, especially the genuine. By the grace of God, nothing will happen to Abuja. <laughs> but I am not seeing the president elect in that seat. Labour Party rejoice, but you will conquer <laughs> because obedience will won the court case and there will be jubilation. In the course of the jubilation, the APC will start crisis. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us spread the word by sharing this video with others. Also, we can be request that you leave a comment, let us know where you are watching from and your thoughts on this message. If you have any testimony, please share to encourage and strengthen the faith of others. Thank you again for watching. You're blessed.